Hey, what is going on to Nintendo Nation? Hope you're having an awesome day. Now, around a month ago, I made a video called the top five Pokemon you'll never obtain, and it's fair to say it did pretty well. Now, I didn't originally plan to make another part to this, as at the time, I could only think of five suitable Pokemon, but you guys gave me some really interesting suggestions in the comments, so I decided to make a sequel video. So these are five more Pokemon you'll never obtain. Now if you want to see the original video, I'll leave a link at the end of this video, as well as a link in the description. Now question of the day for you guys, let me know which Pokemon you'd like on your team, but you were never able to catch. And with all that out of the way guys, let's start the video. So starting off today's video is a Pokemon that made an appearance in one of my most recent videos, which was my top 10 most shocking moments in the Pokemon anime. Anyway, shameless plug aside, the Pokemon in question is the pink Butterfree that appears in the episode Bye Bye Butterfree. And no, you won't have to go grab the tissues because I'm not talking about the plot of this episode for once. Well, maybe I will a little, just bring one Kleenex just to be safe. So I'm sure some of you are questioning my choice of adding pink Butterfree, since it's just Butterfree's shiny, right? Well, that isn't the case. I'm guilty of believing that it was for quite some time, but a few years ago I noticed that this special pink Butterfree only appeared in the anime, as Butterfree's shiny is drastically different. Although pink Butterfree is not classed as an official shiny, it does fall under that description and so technically it is a shiny Pokemon, but unfortunately we've only seen it make the one appearance as it flew off with Ash's Butterfree into the sunset, never to be seen again. It's okay to cry now guys. The only exception I can think of is when Ash has a flashback to his Butterfree going off with the pink Butterfree in the 787th episode, Butterfree and Me. What's funny is that even though gender differences had already been introduced years before this episode, all the Butterfrees that go off to breed, including the pink one in the flashback, appear as a male. Which does make you think, how the heck do they breed in the first place? If we're speaking logically though, the reason why this is, is because obviously in the old original episode in the first season of the anime, there were no gender differences back then, so it was just assumed that the pink Butterfree was obviously female, but you think they could have added those gender differences in the flashback, but nevertheless, pink Butterfree gets on this list because apparently it's not Butterfree shiny. Following on from Pink Buttery is probably the most controversial Pokemon on this list. This Pokemon is a variant of Rayquaza, which is called Magquaza. Now, Magquaza makes its only appearance in the 509th episode, Malice in Wonderland. In this episode, Ash, Dawn and Brock are put under hypnosis by a wild Miss Magius and enter a dream world. In this world, Ash is battling the Sinnoh champion Cynthia, and for some reason she has a Rayquaza. Now towards the end of the episode, Brock is woken up by his Krogunk and finds out they're in a dream. Now when Brock gets put under hypnosis again, he enters the dream world to tell Ash and Dawn that everything is an illusion. Now when Ash and the gang try to run away from the stadium they're in, Miss Magius merges with Rayquaza to form the brand new Pokemon, Magquaza. Yeah, that's right, Magquaza is an illusion Pokemon. That's what makes it so controversial. Now, a lot of you recommended either this Pokemon or Venus Toys in the last video, which is also another illusion Pokemon, but I decided to go with Magquaza since it's another take on a legendary. Eventually, with the combination of a giant Pikachu, Piplop, and Krogunk, Magquaza is defeated. So it's quite obvious as to why this Pokemon is unobtainable, and that's because it's a mere illusion created by Miss Magius but who knows what's in store for the future of Pokemon. If Pokemon Fusion is introduced to more Pokemon, instead of just Reshiram, Zekrom and Kyrim, then Magquaza is definitely one I'd like to see. Next up is a Pokemon that was suggested by quite a lot of you guys in the comments in the first video. Now this Pokemon is the Groudon that appeared in the sixth Pokemon movie, Jirachi Wishmaker. Now there is slight debate as to whether this Groudon is a Pokemon or not, but we have seen many artificial Pokemon introduced that were made by humans such as Mewtwo, Porygon, Genesect and so forth. Now this fake Groudon was created by attempting to bring Groudon back to life by using a fossil of it, which does suggest that there used to be multiple Groudons since another Groudon does exist in the anime. But anyway, that's not important. What is important is that the experiment failed and this virus Groudon was born. However, it was a creation of pure evil and tried to absorb the energy of the surrounding Pokemon and environment through its tentacles. Why does this Groudon have tentacles, you ask? Because it's pure evil, that's why. 
Virus Groudon appears to be much larger than its original counterpart, and with its ability to absorb energy from the Earth and other living organisms, it might even be stronger than the original Groudon. Luckily for Ash and the gang, Jirachi was able to destroy this Groudon imposter before it was able to absorb more energy from the Earth. Who knows how powerful this monster could have become? Now there is slight debate as to whether this virus Groudon is a Pokemon or a Pokemon variant or not, so I want you guys to decide in the comments whether it is or not. Personally, I think if we're including Mewtwo, Genesec, even Ditto, which is technically or apparently in theories a failed Mew clone, I don't see why virus Groudon isn't a Pokemon, it's living kind of, if, if we consider that living. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments below whether you think Virus Groudon classes as a Pokemon or not. This next Pokemon is very similar to the pink Butterfree that appeared earlier in the video. This special Pokemon you'll never obtain is Purple Kecleon, which has surprisingly appeared in both the anime and the games. Like the pink Butterfree, I always used to think Kecleon Shiny was purple, and it was only a few years ago I realised that this was not the case. A shiny Kecleon looks very similar to normal Kecleon, but its stomach pattern is blue and not red. Now my first experience with this purple Kecleon was in the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games, as it appeared in Blue and Red Rescue Team, as well as explores a time, darkness and sky. It also appears in the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon anime specials, however until making this video I never realised Purple Kecleon appeared much earlier. In fact Kecleon and Purple Kecleon were the first generation 3 Pokemon to be shown as they appeared in the 205th anime episode which first aired in Japan back in 2001. Now this Purple Kecleon in this episode is slightly different than the one we know from the Mystery Dungeon games as its facial features and the claws on its hands and feet are a pale yellow whereas in the Mystery Dungeon franchise, its facial features and claws are a bright green. Now what's interesting to me is that they continue to use a purple Kecleon in the Pokemon series with the Mystery Dungeon franchise that came a few years after Purple Kecleon made its anime debut. Maybe Purple Kecleon was supposed to be a gender difference or a region variant? For example, Shallows and Gastrodon have two different forms depending on where you catch them in the Sunnah region, and since Shallows and Gastrodon were supposed to be introduced in Generation 3, maybe they had a similar idea for Kecleon, but eventually it just got scrapped. Whatever the reason was, Purple Kecleon is a Pokemon that has appeared in multiple formats, but sadly, we'll never be able to catch it. Taking the number one spot is a Pokemon I'm sure a lot of you guys have forgotten about, and it was only revealed three years ago. This Pokemon is AZ's Floet, which was found in a data mine of Pokemon X and Y a few months after the game came out. Alongside AZ's Floet was Diancy, Hooper, and Volcanion. Now, if you remember how long ago those were first leaked, then we're talking a pretty long time. To put it into perspective, I hadn't even created my channel yet. So, why is AZ's Floet first? Well, the fact that it's in the Pokemon X and Y game data suggests that it should have appeared in the game story as a battable Pokemon, or at least a mystery gift Pokemon. Not only does AZ's Floet have a different form than the original Floet, but it also has an exclusive move called Light of Ruin, which is the most powerful fairy type move, dealing a whopping 140 damage. Now you can actually use this Pokemon if you have a cheating device like power saves, so we can clearly see AZ's Floet was supposed to be usable in some way or another, but for some reason it was never made available to us and I just can't get my head around that. It's in the data, it was there for a reason, why did they not give out this Pokemon? Now that Generation 6 has passed us by and we're into Generation 7, it does beg the question, is there any point of releasing this Pokemon now? It still baffles me that AZ's Floet never saw the light of day, no pun intended, and most likely it never will. I want to know your opinion on AZ's Floet. Do you actually want this Pokemon to come out now, or do you think it's been too long, four years is long enough, we're never going to see this Pokemon released? If it was just a different form change, I can understand using that model for the cutscenes in Pokemon X and Y, but the fact that AZ's Floet has a special fairy type move which still isn't out in Generation 7, which is almost four years on, just doesn't make any sense to me. So it seems like this Pokemon was supposed to be a mystery gift Pokemon at some stage, but for whatever reason, they just never release it. So let me know in the comments below, do you want AZ's Floet or is it too late for a release? Let me know in the comments below. But anyway guys, those were five more Pokemon you'll never obtain. Now there are more Pokemon that aren't obtainable, but I feel like I've covered all the good ones. So for now, 
there won't be a part 3 to this series. But I do have some similar videos I'm working on, so if you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to see more videos like this one. And remember, if you haven't seen part 1, that's going to be on screen now, or there's going to be a link in the description. Feel free to check that out. But anyway, Twintendo Nation, thank you very much for watching. Hope you have an awesome day, and I will see you in the next video. Peace!